Hi! So, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My hair looked horrible, so I put a beanie on, so you're gonna have to deal with that. So, today, I was on YouTube, as usual, and... So, I saw this video pop up, and it said, Seth, Beyond Scared Straight. Now, if you don't know what Beyond Scared Straight is, then crawl out from under the rock you're living in, and it's a TV show where they take troubled children or teens and take them to prison to get like a little wake up call. So, and my name is Seth. So I was like, this is perfect. This is just perfect. So this show can be pretty intense, but this kid is hilarious. Like, it's just really funny. Seths usually are pretty funny. So I've heard, but yeah, we're just gonna be watching this video and reacting to it together. Yeah, just a chill, fun video. And yeah, let's just, let's get right into it. So let me freaking figure out how to freaking so, also I'm sick, so I have a virus, so that's amazing. I spent all morning in the doctor for them to tell me to take ibuprofen. So that's amazing. This is Seth from Beyond Scared Straight, and I'm Seth. So I'm sweating, probably because I have a fever, but gotta do what you gotta do. So, yeah, let's full screen her up. Full screen her up! So. This kid is 14, and he is in prison. Well, he's not in prison, he's visiting prison. But he's having run-ins with the law, and he's 14. At 14, I was freaking like playing with Care Bears and like running around. Not like getting in trouble with the law. What? Can y'all hear me? Hello? <laughs> he's playing with his microphone. I would be crying in a corner if they took me to prison. And he's playing with his microphone. You understand what I'm about to happen? Yes, sir. I'm about to fingerprint you. At least he said but yes, sir. Out. It's on your record forever. Ain't no turning back after this. See them prints up there? Any crime that you commit and you leave fingerprints, they're gonna get you a stupid ass. <laughs> They're cussing out this little 14 year old. Poor Seth. I'm Seth. I'm 14. I'm an unruly child. When I'm suspended, I feel like, thank God, I'm away from those idiots. My IQ is 120. Now, I don't know what a good IQ is, but I think like 180 is the best, right? So that's pretty good for a 14 year old. So why does he hate school? I feel like really smart people, like schools where they thrive. You know, they like love to learn. Am I wrong? I don't know, I'm not smart, I can't tell you. So does that mean you get straight in? No. <laughs> this little attitude he got with the producer. I was said- I don't get enough of this, this attitude. No. Seth is extremely smart, but he does not use his common sense. Mm. I have over 130 referrals. He has from chairs, desks, pencils, and shoes at teachers. He has desks. He has thrown a desk at a teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh. These poor teachers don't get paid enough to deal with you throwing stuff at them. Also, he beat up this kid, and he just jumped off the roof. There's just a lot happening, folks. Seth's, Seth's a lot. He's just, just a lot. Now, parkour was a big thing. I never partook because I thought it was stupid. But isn't it where you just run and, like, jump on things and, like, jump off walls and stuff? Can someone check a pulse on Seth over here? Oh my god, she just like wrecked him so. Direct burglary, which is a felony in the state of Georgia. Alright. In <laughs> school, I found a shed when I thought no one was looking. Got a book bag and a baby gun. But when a cop ran by, he saw me, he backed up, and he patted me down, and then put me in handcuffs, and he drove me to the police station. No. This is in Georgia. Amazing. I'm in Georgia as well. So basically we're the same person. So, I'm sorry I'm sweating. Probably because I have a beanie on and a sweatshirt on and it's literally 95 degrees outside. But he 
stole a backpack and a BB gun and was taken to jail. Is that excessive? I feel like they just take you to like mall jail and you have to like call your mom to get you, right? That's a little excessive. Is it? I don't know. How is a 14 year old violating his probation? Oh my gosh, this kid is wild. The possibility I could be scared straight because I'm going into an adult's jail. If an officer were to jump up in my face and start screaming at me, I would just probably feel contempt. Probably feel contempt. I can tell you right now what I would feel if an officer jumped up in my face and started screaming. It would be wetness from the pee that I just expelled from my body and the tears from my eyes. Now, Alexa, what does contempt mean? The noun contempt is usually defined as the feeling with which a person regards anything considered mean, vile, or worthless, disdain, scorn. Now, I didn't understand any of that because I wasn't really paying attention, but moving on. This is your bedroll. This is the only one that you get. You hold on to it. If somebody beats you up, hold on to it. Now the worker of the jail just told the 14 year old, if somebody beats you up, hold on to it. Good lord, I was not made for jail. And that's just the facts. Door's not open all the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. This kid needs, I don't know what this kid needs, but he needs something. He said the door's not open all the way. Good Lord, raising my blood pressure. Can we just talk about those shoes? Those are hideous. And those are just the facts. I wouldn't look good in a jumpsuit. I wouldn't look good in those sandals. Those are the facts. Another bad decision. The door is not open wide. Okay. Guess what you stay in tonight? You're damn right you are. He said, <laughs> he knew exactly where he was staying tonight, Lord. He knew. Seth knew where he was staying. So I guess that's the end of that. That was weird. That definitely wasn't the full episode. That might have just been the parts that Seth was in. I didn't Seth. That was interesting, to say the least. Oh, did it end my screen recording? So that sounded bad. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. It was short, but I think that's okay considering that I have a fever right now. It's probably why I'm sweating too. I feel like this year is really about like the year of just realizing stuff and everyone around me, we're all just like realizing things. I think my fever broke and that's why I'm sweating, but I've had a fever all night and all day today, but it's fine. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my episode of Beyond Scared Straight. My boy Seth from Georgia. I wanna, I wanna check in with Seth. I wanna know how he's doing because that video quality suggests that that was quite an old video, so I want to do it just do a little check-in. Seth, how are you doing? Did this Beyond Scared straight you out of the prison? What? Anyway, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, watch my other videos where I'm not sick and have a fever. Let me know. So, like this video, comment down below anything you want, say hey, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Visco for updates past YouTube. I just, I need to go lay down. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!